Did you know that even after an eye surgery treatment, it could still lead to a more complicated problem such as eye infection, eye pain, eye injury, decreased or loss of vision, redness of the eye, and pus from the eye are its common symptoms. This kind of bacterial infection is called endophthalmitis. By the way, my name is Rohanisa E. Faisal, a BS nursing student from Mindanao State University main campus. In this video, I'm going to talk about endophthalmitis, its definition, causative agents, mode of transmission, patient's care, and diagnosis. Endophthalmitis is the most serious blinding complication of the eye, which is mostly occurs after a cataract surgery but can also occur after glaucoma surgery and trauma as well. It is very rare, but it's an urgent medical emergency if it occurs. The causative agents of endophthalmitis vary according to the mechanisms. This kind of infection is caused by diverse organisms including bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites. The most common pathogen found to be the culprits in this infection are Staphylococcus and Streptococci. Coagulase negative Staphylococci are the most common causes of post-cataract endophthalmitis. Bacillus cereus is a major cause of post-traumatic endophthalmitis and Staphylococcus aureus and Streptococci are most causes of endogenous endophthalmitis associated with endocarditis. The most cases occurs within 6 weeks of the surgery but usually majority of the cases occurs within a week after surgery or trauma to the eye. Based on the transmission route of the infection, Endophthalmitis can be classified as exogenous or endogenous. Exogenous endophthalmitis occurs when infecting organisms gain entry to the eye via direct inoculation, such as from intraocular surgery, penetrating trauma, or contagious spread from adjacent tissues. Endogenous endophthalmitis occurs when infectious agents are hematogenously spread into the eye from a distant focus of infection. The treatment of endophthalmitis depends in part on the cause of the condition. It's important to get an antibiotic into the eye as soon as possible. Typically, antibiotics are placed right into the eye with a tiny needle. A, cort a corticosteroid may be added in some cases to reduce swelling. Only in very rare and more serious cases are general antibiotics given. If there's a foreign body in the eye, it's important to remove the object as soon as possible and never try to remove an object from your eye by yourself. Instead, seek immediate medical attention. If there's any complications from endophthalmitis treatment, it can be reduced by following your doctor's eye care advice. In particular, be sure you know how and when to put in any prescribed eye drops or antibiotic eye ointment. If an eye patch is prescribed, you should also know how and where to place the patch. You may need tape to keep the patch in place. Be sure to keep all follow-up eye appointments with your doctor. For the prevention of endophthalmitis, use protective eyewear such as goggles, eye shields, or helmets when doing anything that could cause an object to fly into your eyes. If you have eye surgery, Follow your doctor's post-operative instructions because that can help reduce your risk of infection. In terms of diagnosis, your doctor will likely do several things to find out if symptoms are from endophthalmitis. They will look at your eye and test your vision and they may order an ultrasound to see if there are any foreign objects in the eyeball. If an infection is suspected, your doctor may perform a test called vitreous tap. This involves using a tiny needle to take some fluids out of your eyeball. The fluids then tested so your doctor can tell the best way to treat the infection. To avoid or prevent having this kind of complicated infection, if you just had an eye surgery, Follow your doctor's advices and prescription of taking some medications such as the antibiotic eye drops or ointment. Practice also the prevention of the endophthalmitis that was mentioned in this video, such as using a protective eyewear such as goggles, eye shields, or helmets when doing anything that could cause an object to fly into your eyes. And if you notice 
any of the symptoms of the infection, see a doctor right away. The sooner endophthalmitis is treated, the less likely it is to cause continued and serious vision problems. So keep safe and God bless.